So after a 30 day wait, my final replicated knife came today. It is a re clone. Let's talk about it here on The Sharpest Edge. You got the sharpest edge, so today in the mail, I was shocked to see my re clone arrive. And uh, I must say, it's the first time I'm opening it. And it looks quite impressive so far. So let's check out the musical montage first. And we will get right back and dive into this beauty. So for the budget-minded individuals that don't want to drop two or three bills on a real re which is made in China anyway, there is the option on eBay for $70 and the option on Amazon for $40-ish, some you can find cheaper, some a little more expensive, to get the clone. And I will say that appearance-wise right now and feeling-wise, because I've actually held the authentic re there is no difference here. It is outstanding. The feel, the build, the look, a few cosmetic differences, but nothing that I'm concerned about. Really nice action. No wiggle on that blade. It locks in really nice and tight right in it's a d2 blade aircraft aluminum body super light and the blade is super sharp take a look at that in a second here when i grab a piece of paper here So all I got to say is this re clone, as far as I'm concerned, performs just like the real re made in China. The body looks almost exactly identical. The weight feels the same. To me, I would purchase this over the real re any day because 40 bucks over 200 and some oh yes there is the material if you want m390 or some hopped up blade steel but i don't even think the real i'm, I'm sure they come in the higher blade steels but i'm not sure exactly what blade steels they are and titanium bodies and whatnot um they're still produced in china probably on the same machines that these are produced it is what it is and and i'll tell you it's 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 fantastic budget-minded people that want to re for uh 40 bucks 70 bucks depending where you get it still beats two three bills be back with a few thoughts 
Well, let's face it, in these hard times, people are in need of budget options. I'm sorry, but Re8 knives, still made in China, are not worth two, three bills when these can be produced just as easily and materials, okay, D2 steel, big deal. It's sharp as a razor. It, it's very nice. It, it's aircraft aluminum. You're, you're not really seeing much of a difference except, you know, Re8 says that their bodies are made out of titanium and the blade steel is probably M390 or some other high-end steel regarding that. But you know what? I, I'm not going to, you know, complain. 40 bucks. I'm not going to pay another 160 to 260 dollars just to get a material upgrade that's not worth more than 80 at the most raw. So yeah, this is fine for me and I'm sure there are a lot of like-minded budget people out there. Um, collectors may want the real re -eight, but the real re -eight's made in China anyway, so hey, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. You want to pay that more money? Go ahead. If you want a decent copy, this is the way to go. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice piece um, for just the general collectors. And this is going to go into my um, outstanding fakes collection from China. You remember that because I have actually still in my drawer the outstanding ZT copy of the 0006. Almost forgot how many zeros there were. It's just unbelievable. The unbelievably perfect and fully functional, I may add, copies that are coming out of China. Measuring the workmanship, materials, and labor costs on the market, some companies should be really ashamed what their end charges are for their blades. I mean, there is no reason why U.S. manufacturers can't produce something like this at around this cost with quality materials. I mean, it is, it is actually a measure of greed being put in there, not only by the materials producers, but also by the makers themselves. I understand everybody needs to make a profit, but let's look at a fair profit margin and not gouge the community that actually puts food on your table. I mean, it gets sickening to see these knives come at a price of a mortgage payment or thousands of dollars for a freaking foldable blade. I don't give a damn if it's M390 or some meteorite material that you wanna bullshit about. I'm sorry, no one's skill is worth a fucking mortgage payment. That's all I have to say about that. It just really pisses me off. And this is what is cutting the throats of American industry. Ugh. Be right back with a few thoughts. Seeing this kind of replication really does get my goat because I know it's possible to make a decent product at a decent price and not gouge customers for it by either cult following prices or thinking your name is so hot that you can raise it to a mortgage price. I mean, let's get realistic, people. Um, these are secondary market items. Um, first market items are food and necessities. And there is no reason, no reason, someone can't own something like this for a decent price. And across the board. It just really gets to me because we used to be the world's most productive nation. Now we're the mo world's most consuming nation and that has been the case of our own greed slitting our throats so i'm hoping that this will be the last replication video i think that was the last replicated knife i ordered um in this series so um this has been blade love from the sharpest edge thank you for joining me in the man cave and oh 
Always remember, be good to yourselves, and especially in these times, be good to one another. Out for now. You got to show the